Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we have the tri fuel, and as I promised you guys, we're gonna be hooked this thing up on gas, propane, and natural gas. Well, today we're gonna be doing the natural gas, and right here you can see 8,400 starting, 6,800 running. Natural gas has less stored energy than propane and pump gas. That's why you have a lower output. All right, only 6,800 running. That's what we're gonna get from natural gas. I just finished plumbing my natural gas. So for the first time, I'm gonna hook this thing up and see if it works on natural gas. You don't need any special hose. Let's um, come right here. And as you can see, remember what I did the last time. So now we're going with a full blown half inch um, inlet. So there's an adapter back there. So it just adapts to that. Let's get the one that comes with it. Let me show you what comes with the generator. Okay guys, so this is the hose that came and this is the quick connect that's gonna go to the generator. Let's pull that off. As you can see, it's way larger. So that's why we need this adapter right here. I got it, put it on the generator. All right, so we're gonna connect this to the generator right here. Just put that right here. And then this end right here, Okay, so I just installed this on my home. So this is my natural gas. I have a shutoff valve right here and the quick connect with a cover. So you just cover this like this. So it will be able to stay outside. No dirt or water will get inside. So you just pull this off and we're gonna quick connect to this right here, to the generator. So get this and just Pop it in, pull this back, quick connect. Okay, so it's connected here. I'm connected to the generator. Let's go ahead and open this up. I have my natural gas opened up. Come over here to the generator. So propane, natural gas, gas. I'll go down to natural gas, turn the generator on. And let's see if this thing fires up. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna crank on the first. I'll turn eco throttle off and guys so I have the setup all ready to go it's getting late so I gotta finish this I want to show you guys at least some kind of output so I have the watchdog connected it's connected to my phone you can see we're pulling the same 124 on each leg all right here's all the readings right here got the power turned on and I have my trusty 30 amp 224 7200 watts 7200 watts Heater, get all this open. All right, so let's turn that on. Let's see if this thing on natural gas, what we're gonna get. So I'm gonna use this. I'll put this down right here so we can keep an eye on it. All right, let's turn this thing on. Let's see how it handles that surge. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. And guys, this is where you're gonna see the uh, amps, it's being pulled. 
the watts on the bottom, okay? Let's go. guys gen max tri fuel 10,500 running on natural gas using my 240 volt 7,200 watts heater i was able to put another small heater on there just plugging it to the 110 plug i got all the way up to 8,000 watts running on natural gas now we all know if this was gas or propane you get a little more but on natural gas i'm getting the exact same rating as propane all right so that's pretty dope it's pretty cool that you can pull that much power out of this thing on gas you get 500 more you know it's pretty awesome so guys there you have it just a quick test i just wanted to show you i hooked it up on natural gas i will do another test on the home when i do it on gas we'll try the five ton ac and all the loads in the house just make it fun right all right guys thanks for watching this quick video Finmax max 10,000 running on natural gas guys thanks for watching my video have a great day bye